Gem doll. What's up? What are you doing today? Nothing. Chilling? Yeah. Like a villain? I'm gonna go. You're the real one. Stay true. Is this really what you guys wanted? What is up, dudes? Welcome back to another exciting episode. Actually, I'm not gonna say exciting because this episode's not gonna be very exciting. I'm thinking this episode is gonna be more for you true Fish and More fans. Uh, today, uh, it's really freaking humid and it's actually gonna rain in like freaking two hours, so. I don't think I'm gonna be fishing today. Instead, as you can see, as all of y'all know, I just uh, went on a big sturgeon trip with my buddy Brandon and Nick came and uh, yeah, my boat was destroyed, so I, I took a full day yesterday. I went and I literally power cleaned this boat. Like this carpet, it's, it's still a little wet right here, but this carpet is literally probably the cleanest it's ever been. But literally, when I cleaned this boat, I took every single thing out of my boat. There isn't a single thing in it right now. And I put it all in my truck, but I just realized my, my Jeep's locked, so I have to go get my keys. I'll be right back. I got them. I got my keys. Okay, like I was like I was saying, literally every single thing, there isn't a single thing in my boat, it is all in here. So today, I am finally going to do like an in-depth look of every single thing in my boat. I did a boat tour like, uh, I don't know, it's been too long, but I did a boat tour and uh, it was just literally showing every single thing in my boat and I think I left out a lot of stuff. Like I didn't, oh I didn't really leave stuff out, I just didn't really go that in-depth with everything. So today, I'm gonna go in-depth and just show you guys literally every single thing that I am going to be putting in my boat for the rest of the summer. But before I continue anymore, I am going to make this video a lot easier for me. It's really hard to self-film videos like this because you just got to keep on setting up your tripod and stuff. So since this video is just for my true Fish and More fans, I'm sure you guys won't really care much. I'm just going to wear my chesty and yeah, it's just going to just going to make everything so much easier for me. This is probably going to be a long video anyways. So yeah, let's just get right, right into it dudes and hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, bro amigos. So I think first things first, I need to put my little my little ghetto rigged uh, trunk holder up here so that the trunk doesn't fall and everything. First things first, I don't even know what the heck is in here. I'm just gonna literally toss that, toss that in the boat, and I'm gonna grab just a bunch of old random tackle first. Okay. Oh yeah, floor is definitely still a little bit wet. Okay, so we got this big old pile here. This is literally just a bunch of random, random stuff. Like, these are just a bunch of random, just random stuff. Random crankbaits and stuff that, like, I just don't really use anymore. But I like to keep it in here, like, you know, just, just in case. You never know. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to stack all of this stuff. Has to go in this little compartment. And it looks like it's still a little bit wet. That's probably not good. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna do this kind of fast, dudes. This right here is a bunch of old top otters that I just haven't used in a while. But like I said, I just like keep, I don't sell my tackle. I like to keep my tackle. You never know, it could come in handy on a rainy day. This right here, maybe I don't even have to open these. I mean, most of these aren't really that full. This is just a bunch of old square bill crankbaits there this right here just a bunch of i can open this one but this right here is literally just a bunch of old old stuff just lipless crankbaits a bunch of ice fishing jigs holy crap i have a lot of ice fishing jigs look at that wow okay yeah that's just a bunch of lipless and like jigging wraps a bunch of stuff put that in here and right here bunch of swim baits not really a bunch this is actually pretty weak whoa looks like this box is broken okay nothing too crazy there right here what do we got here there's, there's a good good amount of baits these are a bunch of crank baits once again i do not you know what soby you left this in my boat you can come get this whenever you want okay that one goes right there this right here bunch of jerk baits I will give you guys a tip. My favorite color jerk bait, right here. That's not my favorite jerk bait, but that's my favorite color jerk bait. The old clown. Next, we got, I am not sure what this is. I got, I got buzz baits and Lindy rigs. Not sure why these are together, but 
there you go. An axe right here. You guys already seen this. This is from my walleye days when I used to catch wet socks. Ooh, shots fired. That's just a bunch of crankbaits. Bunch of deep diving crankbaits. Next, we got right here. Once again, I'm running very low. I need some more frogs, but these are, this is my frog box. Next, this right here. This is just kind of random stuff. So I'll go in, I'll go more into this later, but I have a bunch of jigs. This is like my box that, so I have a bunch of baits that I keep them in the box and that's my six cents baits. Just I keep them in the box just so that they stay nice and pretty and just stay best quality possible. So once I take those baits out of the box, as you can see, this is where they go. But there also is just some random stuff. Like these are really heavy jigs. Like this is like ounce jigs and stuff like that. And then we got some trailers and this box is important so that that usually stays somewhere up here so yeah that pretty much will do it for this side y'all in case y'all were wondering what's behind the passenger seat all this time that's it you guys don't really ever i don't ever open this box just because i got all these sexy six cents baits why would i use them why would i use these things when i got all those okay what do we grab next? Okay, you know what? I don't really want to, I don't want to keep on tracking back and forth. I'm about to just literally put all this stuff in my boat right now and then just kind of work from inside my boat. Holy crap. Okay, dudes, that did not go as planned. It was way too freaking hot out there. So I decided to pull my boat into my pole barn and I am already thinking that's a good idea because it's a lot cooler. All right, dudes, for this next part, I think we're going to start with this this side the driver front side compartment this is a pretty big compartment and literally uh most of this stuff that you see uh fits in that compartment so let's uh, get right into it first things first i think i need yep right here this little doohickey container right here this just has a bunch of random stuff if you guys i'm pretty sure i showed you guys this in the last video that i did my boat tour so not going to go too in depth on that that's just a bunch of miscellaneous items that i might use one day and that usually sets right here i like to prop up this paddle and that sits right there perfect next my fishing line all oh, this fishing line i usually just kind of set right back here kind of just kind of out of the way on my line just kind of usually sits there pretty nice what the heck Toner down, bud. Okay, yeah, all my line just kind of sits there so that I can just come and grab it at any time. Next, we need this big old box right here. And I'm sure all of you guys already know what's in all of these boxes. If you don't, I will show you really quick. All these boxes are just big bulk, bulk boxes of uh, all my favorite jigs, my favorite swim jigs and hybrid jigs. If you guys haven't heard of these, this is made by a company called Six Cents, and these are literally the cat's meow of jigs. If you guys want to pick some of these up, you can go to sixcents.com and you can use promo code FNM and you can get, uh, I think, 10% off that, these jigs, which is a pretty good deal because these things are super juicy. And this is actually my favorite color. This is the black light. Pretty good for any kind of water clarity. So, yeah. I'm just going to uh, stack all of these up. I like to keep them in the boxes, and I'm just going to stack them all up right here. I'll show you once they're done. Okay, as you can see, there's all my jigs. That's what the compartment looks like so far. Let's go to the next thing. And the next thing is this box right here. This is where I keep all my... These are just... These are literally all shaky heads. This whole box has just got shaky heads in it. And uh, these are all six cents shaky heads. Uh, same thing goes with the jigs. You guys can go check them out if you are into shaky heads. And also we got some some regular jigs. And we got some, some peg stops and all that stuff. All that good, good. And this just sits right there just like that. Wow, what else is in here? Some sturgeon stuff and uh, just a bunch more jigs. This stuff, honestly, I'm just going to put them there. Looks like we got a couple miscellaneous baits. Sexy jerk bait and a sexy topwater. Just going to set those there also, just for now. And now I need these tackle boxes. And in this half, pretty much just sits all of these tackle boxes. These are all just literally full tackle boxes of crankbaits or not all crankbaits just this tackle box is all six cents crankbaits oh man that is sexy this one looks like it's full of top waters and lipless baits 
This one's full of sexy, sexy square bills. This one is full of sexy, sexy top otters. In this box, dudes, this is the box I was just talking about back there. Uh, one side, so I keep all of my all my crankbaits and all these just nice six cents baits. I keep them in the box just to make sure they stay, you know, nice and good. But once I do open it, see, it looks like I got lazy and I actually put a crankbait back in there. Once I take them out of the box, I don't like to put them back in the box, so I just put them in this tackle box, and so I just know that it's probably brand new, and that way I can just, you know, know that these baits are going to stay fresh, and I just, I don't know, I just rarely take out this box unless I'm putting baits in it, so yeah, this box just sits here, and honestly, all these boxes just kind of lay around in here, because uh, yeah, I pretty much frequently grab all these boxes every day when I'm fishing. This right here, too, this actually goes in this side, too. This is just a bunch of, they were prototype baits, but these baits are actually live right now, I think, on the Six Sense site. And just like the last thing I showed you, if you guys are interested in any of these plastics, or literally anything in this whole compartment, you guys should definitely go check out SixSense.com and, uh, yeah, use promo code FISHINGMORE, or actually not FISHINGMORE, but use promo code FNM. And you can get, uh, I think, 10% off your order. So, yeah. And honestly, these usually lay right here along with along with all this random stuff. Next, dudes, we got just a tote full of a bunch of random stuff. Here's a sexy flow glider. A uh, big old crappie bait. Not sure what that's doing in here. I actually need to dump this out because I'll show you what I actually use this tote for. This tote is actually... For this compartment here, I like to I like to put this tote in here. Here, give me just a second. Okay, bam. I put that tote right in there. And then this is a bunch of random plastics. These are Cross, these are Senkos. I'm not gonna go too in depth on them, but these just set. I set these just right in this tote. Uh, don't ask why I do it because I don't know. I've just always kept them in that tote right there Also a few other things I keep in that in that little compartment is uh, this is my my river my little river kind of kind of carp and just yeah Just river stuff jig heads and bobbers and stuff. I keep that in here And then this is all my terminal tackle. This is all my offset hooks my bullet weights my tungsten all that stuff I keep that in here also and then, you know, throughout the day, I tend to throw, like, just random stuff, like, even, like, garbage and just random stuff in there. I clean out this, this metal compartment pretty frequently. And then I also keep my little, my little butt cushion there, but that thing looks pretty wet, so I'm gonna let that sit in the sun for a little bit. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much all that does it in there. There's some life jackets way back there, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm also noticing there is one more thing I forgot to clean. I forgot to clean inside of here. Oh, well, that's another day. My carpet looks good, I'll tell you that for free. And this stuff, uh, I'm gonna put this away after this video, just because that's kind of boring. And here, this is just, yeah, okay, this is my insurance, just a bunch of random stuff, uh, blow horn. Whoa, okay, that works. Some tape, yeah, just insurance, random stuff. And that usually goes right here, next to my rods. Oh boy, we are forgetting things. We are forgetting things. Here's my treble hooks. Those go right there. And here's my spinner bait box. I haven't used it all year, but this goes in here too. Just like that. What else is back here? Okay, tripods. As you guys know, this tripod usually sits right here. But I'm just going to put it in my storage for now. I'm just going to set this stuff in here for now. Musky baits. This is literally like the only thing that sits in here. I can close that. All right, next I think it's time for some rods. I got all the rods in the boat. It was kind of a hassle, but I got her done. And before I get too far into the rods, uh, once again, I would just like to point out these are all favorite rods. These are all by the company Favorite. And same thing as Six Cents. If you guys are interested in any of these rods before I go into them, uh, you can go to Favorite Rods USA, use promo code FISHINGMORE, and you can get 20% off your order. So, yeah, that's super dope. And thanks, Favorite Rods, once again, for all your help and support. And, yeah, just allowing me to have all of these awesome, beautiful rods. Okay, let's get into storing all these suckers. I 
think I'm going to do the spinning rods first, and all my rods go in this compartment. This is the passenger side compartment, and I'm just going to kind of start grabbing and going through them, and just, I'll tell just a little bit about, maybe I'll just tell you what I use them for. So honestly, this is a two-piece six-stick spinning rod. This is a 7.3 medium, 7.3 medium, and honestly, this is a two-piece rod. This is mainly my traveling rod, like when I go to Mexico and stuff, or just pretty much go anywhere on an airplane and uh when i'm not using it for that it honestly kind of sits here or i let my friends use it like brandon or just any friends that doesn't have their own rod okay i'm gonna set that here and all the spinning rods i'm just gonna say right now all the spinning rods go on this side and all my bait casters go on this side next we got a white bird i love this freaking rod uh this is a 72 medium heavy drop shot special and once again uh since i i just actually got a big rod order like a month ago and i haven't really touched this since just because i got uh a couple nicer rods so brandon has been using this one most of the time but it is a very awesome rod and very affordable rod i think this thing's only like 60 bucks next we got ourselves a jackhammer and this one is a 7.2 medium heavy and this one's for like quarter ounce jigs kind of heavier jigs or like weightless senko just drop shot you could use it for but i don't i mainly just use this for jigs like this is like mainly my damn rod right now and then for real it's actually pair with the jackhammer reel all i really got to say about this setup right here is like it's freaking amazing this is probably my favorite spinning rod and reel right now okay next we got another jackhammer and this one is a 72 medium light this one is pretty much the same as the other one but just lighter stuff like eighth ounce to quarter ounce when that one would be like quarter ounce to half ounce so yeah pretty much same rod just a little lighter action next we got ourselves another jackhammer but this one is a medium heavy seven foot and this one's like a like lindy rigging and just pretty much the same things dude just just used for slightly different things different weights and it's just nice having three of them with different actions so that you can do the exact thing you want to do with it next this one right here this is just the the ferrari of my rod arsenal this is the summit by favorite and this one is a six eight medium i think yeah six eight medium and this is just like this rod this is my drop shot rod that's what i've been using it for lately i love it for drop shotting like i'm not kidding you dudes you can have a small mouth fart on this freaking rod and you're gonna feel it like it is so sensitive as you can see there's no rod seat it's all one solid component so it's just it's just like this rod's crazy i can't say enough good things about it and then this one, I gotta, I gotta let you guys in on this Cast King. Uh, this is the Speed Demon. I've been using this a little bit lately, and this reel is, is stupid, dude. It, this reel is so good. So buttery smooth and just flings the freaking line off of it. And speaking of line, uh, I forgot to mention, all of these rods have pretty much the same line. It's all made by the company Line, L-Y-N, Line. Go check them out. I will uh, also leave a link in my description for these guys. So yeah, that, uh, that'll, I think that'll do it for the spinning rods. Next up, we're going to fly over to the bait casters. And instead of uh, putting them all away right away, I'm just going to put them all in a pile and kind of just talk about them a little bit. This one right here, we got a... 7.4 medium heavy big sexy this is my dock skipping rod or this is one of my dock skipping rods that's like all i use this rod for is, is skipping docks i got this one and then i got uh the newer version these are literally the same rods and they have the same use that's all i use it for dock skipping next we got another big sexy but this is my shorty this is a 6.6 six six medium heavy i use this for shaky heads and like finesse baits and yeah stuff like that next up dudes we have another big sexy i know as you can tell i'm a big fan of the big sexy series this one is the seven three extra heavy i use this rod for like punching and uh just like big stuff like frogs big swim baits just kind of big baits brandon actually as you can see it's got a sturgeon rig. Brandon caught some sturgeon with this all weekend. So, yeah, that was the last thing it was used for. All right, dudes. Next, we got ourselves a six stick. This is a 7.2 medium heavy, uh, fast action. I mainly use this for, like, as you can see, it's got a Texas rig on there. But I use it for, like, light Texas rigs, uh, square bills, crankbaits, like, 
uh, and that is like shallow crankbaits. I, I use this for honestly a, light, a lot of things and I actually have uh, the same exact setup right here. This is the same everything. Same line, same reel. These are both uh, Bassinators by Casking. Currently my favorite reel. This thing is like, I'm in love with these reels. I, I could, I'd love to have these reels on every single one of my rods. I don't know if it's just because they're so small, because I have small hands, but I am just absolutely in love with these. So once again, these are made by Cast King, the Cast King Bassinator. Check them out. These things are like, they're crazy dudes. Next, we got ourselves, I'm not going to lie, the same exact rod. This is another 7.2 six stick, and it looks like I got a sexy little 9 foot 6 cents bait right there. And here we got just another six stick. This is another traveling rod, so I, it's a two-piece, and I'm not a huge fan of two-pieces. I honestly lately don't mind them, but when there is a reel on this, this being a, I think this is a medium heavy. Yeah, medium heavy. I use this for, like, little spinner baits and stuff like that, or Brandon uses it. And, uh, yeah, those are all six sticks. That's the last of them. Let's put them away. Okay, what do we got next? Uh, here we got a favorite rods, Emperial. Emperial? Imperial? I don't have the name down yet, but I've been using this for punching lately, and I actually just caught a bunch of sturgeon on this rod, so this is a big fish stick, or like a big, big bait stick. I, I've been punching with like one ounce weights with this thing recently. It's a, what is it? A 7.4, seven, 7.4 seven, heavy. This is a 7.4 heavy. This is just a freaking nice, nice, nice rod. Really big fan of this rod. Next, we got a, this is a, this is a good one right here. This is another Summit, my favorite. This is a 6.8 medium heavy. This is my jerk bait rod, and I am, this is, seriously, I'm in love with this rod. I'm in love with all of these rods, but a couple of these rods are just, they're too good for me to own. Like, they're so nice. Next, uh, here's my frogging rod. This is the, the Balance, my favorite. And this is another rod by favorite that's a pretty low price for how good they, it actually is. This is a 7.4 Heavy Fast Action, and... Uh, yeah, I use this for frogging, and that's pretty much it. I think Brandon used it for punching once, but yeah, mostly frogging. I think that pretty much does it, dudes. I'm going to put this stuff away really quick, and then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit. Welcome back, dudes. As you can see, I'm in my office. It was so hot out, I figured I'd just wrap everything up and come hang out. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sure it wasn't the most entertaining, but I had to put everything back in my boat anyways, so I figured, what the heck, you guys you guys are pretty curious as is to what I'm using most of the time, so I figured I'd film it for y'all. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. If you guys could, like this video, go share this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell next to the subscribe button that notifies you whenever I post a video, and uh, yeah. That's all that's up to say, dudes. Let's catch our fish more. We will see you next time.